your girl Becky Lee and I'm back with another bake and slay. So, how are you guys feeling about this look? What do you guys think? This is my spin on a anti-Valentine's makeup look. Um, YouTubers and Instagrammers are doing it. It's trending. So I figured why not do my spin on it. And yeah, this is what I came up with. I was using the Nikita X Morphe palette and I love it I am actually surprised how it came out <laughs> because I'm not good at smoky eyes and especially not a black smoky eye so this actually pushed me to get out of my comfort zone and I'm feeling it I love it what do you guys think comment down below what do you guys think I love it so before we get into this video, I would like to ask if you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more content from me. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So it should look like this. I had to keep going in with a little bit of the darker pink because the light pink is so light that it kind of doesn't show. So I mixed the two together. That's why I mixed them together. So it's not like a so, you know, a dark pink because we're going to use that pink for the other part. <sighs> so it should look like this. Blend it all the way up to your brow bone. Like so and bring it in here like don't drag it out i love dragging it out because of the shape of my eyes but we're not doing that for today so you just make sure it's blended bring it in here bring it in bring it in and just blend now we're going to go into the next shade well still the same shade but without the light pink we're going to use this dark pink it's called nikita the light pink is called Sakura. So we're gonna go in with that dark pink on this brush right here. And we're just gonna tap it. You see how it's darker? Gonna build that up. So this is what it should look like so far. I'm going to switch it to a bit of a smaller brush, like this. It's more like, I don't know how to explain it. This is the Morphe 456 brush, and we're gonna go in with that same pink Nikita. And we're just going to continue in the crease and get this inner corner with this dark pink so I don't know if you guys can kind of tell already but I'm kind of creating like a round shape in my crease right here with the dark pink so we're just gonna keep blending make sure it's dark in this corner with this pink if you have hooded eyes like me, try to bring it a little bit above the crease. So that way when we do the black, it will show like the hot pink on the outer a little bit and then blends into the light pink, like an ombre effect. So it should look like this so far. The dark pink in that rounded shape with the light pink feeding at the top. And now we're going to go in for the scary part <laughs> is the black. I was freaking scared to do this look because I got inspired by this YouTuber I saw named Anna. I, I think <laughs> um, 
she did it with a brown and black smoky eye. So I figured why not put pink and make it like this thing that I'm seeing trend, the anti-Valentine look. So this to me is more anti-Valentine. So this is gonna be titled as my anti-Valentine look. So anyways, let me stop talking and let me get to this black eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using the Glam Light brush. This came with the Glam Light palettes. If you have them, then you know. So I'm going to go in with that black shade from the Nikita Dragon palette and it's called Nasty. For this part, if you have a pomade, a dip brow pomade and it's in black or a wing liner, well maybe not wing liner, but like a pomade that's in the dark color, you can set it down first, but I don't have it, that's why I didn't use it. So you can set it down here first and then put the black eyeshadow over it. Shadow. I've noticed that when I do my right eye, it always comes out better than my left. It's probably because I'm a righty. But... Whatever. And this is what we're gonna do. Just lift up your eyebrow for anyone who has hooded eyes and just get in there. Like that. And then just blend it out. The more you blend, the more smoky it's gonna look. back in with this there's kind of like nothing on it i'm just going in with whatever was left on the brush and i'm blending out the edges a little bit once again hooded eyes just lift your eyebrow a little bit and it will lift the skin and i'm using a very very light hand all right so for now, the eyes are done. Mm. Yeah, for now, the eyes are done. We can always go back with the hot pink and fix it up if we want to. Right now, I'm gonna go in with these lashes. Um, I don't, I think they're, they're by Eye Envy. I don't know the name of them, I'm assuming that's the name. I don't wanna go in with the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk filter hydrating primer I'm still not sure what kind of foundation I'm gonna use okay so I decided to go in with the born this Too Faced born this way matte foundation I'm in the shade honey and today I'm going to use a brush Snap! You know what I just realized? I didn't put my pore filling primer. I only put the hydrating one. Yay. Great. Great. Whatever. Whatever. Look at me coming to life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The bad bitch is about to make her entrance. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick in F13 as a contour, bronzer, whichever. <laughs> and I'm going to be using this Max Stippling brush. Hmm, let me see. Because last time I used this, I feel like my foundation changed OD. And I'm not too sure if it was because the color is off. I'm not too sure. But it seems pretty good to me. I probably just was using too much. Let's just see.
My Mercier Translucent Powder. Now we're gonna go back to the eyes and we're gonna go back into this hot pink. And I'm using a different um, brush from Glam Light. I have two of them because I have both the palettes. Don't use the other one that you used for the black because we're all, it's gonna be a mess. I'm going to line my eyes with this Ruby Kisses style pencil liner in black. I'm gonna take this glitter glue and I'm going to put in this glitter shade called The Matrix from the Nikita Dragon palette in my inner corner. And this is the first look. 